there, I'm Gail Devins, and I'm one of the trustees at the Oak Ames Memorial Hall. Today is our annual membership barbecue, and this is where we have the friends of Oak Ames Memorial Hall come to the hall and have a wonderful, wonderful meal, and we have a delicious dessert, and it's just a lot of fun. We have a live band playing. It's just so much fun. And I'll tell you something. It is raining right now, but you just don't know it because we're having so much fun. So... You're more than welcome to come next year. We always have it in June. And come and enjoy yourself and learn how you can be a friend of the hall as well. You can be a friend of the hall for as little as $20 a year. And let me tell you something, this hall is just magnificent. When I think of Easton, I think of Oak Sands Memorial Hall. It is such an icon. And that's how we are able to survive, is by having funds from viewers like you. So thank you very much for watching this show, and I look forward to seeing you in June. Thank you. Mm, that was so good. <laughs> yes, exactly. Please. I'll do that. I just thought I would help out. People come in, they're looking for something to drink, and uh, figured I'd help out. Very nice. Yes. You're going to need help out there. Denise is very good at this. Yeah, yeah.
Williams Memorial Hall. And a cordial welcome, I hope, to future members and the Hall supporters. Uh, I, I don't see any, any politicians tonight, but uh, uh, certainly we owe them. Uh, Claire Cronin in particular has been very helpful, as has Shauna O'Connell, and Senators Walter Timothy and Mike Brady. So they have been very helpful in getting the state funded. Um, also, thank you for coming out tonight in this, in this uh, unspring-like weather we've been having. Um, also, thanks to Hilliards for the ice cream and fudge, Roach Brothers for hamburgers and hot dogs, and uh, not just Tabuli for their potato salad and teriyaki chicken, and a special thanks, I don't know if it's in here, to uh, our resident grill master and trustee, uh, John Morgan. I think we're going to go College. 
Uh, the acoustics upstairs are very good, and they are looking for another space, sound buildings for performances and rehearsals, and so this could be a, a nice uh, partnership with them, so we're very eager to have that work. Uh, another project which we continue to raise funds for is exterior lighting for the front of the building. We have such a dramatic building and such a dramatic site. Uh, it certainly would be a great, good form of advertising just to light this building up at night. There will be a symposium on Oaks Ames and his place in history at Stone Hill College on Saturday, September 21st from 10 to 3, followed by tours of Northeastern Village and a fundraising dinner <coughs> excuse me, here at the hall. You do not have to attend the symposium to go to the dinner. Uh, symposium, symposium will have four speakers, two in the morning and two in the afternoon. One speaker has won two Pulitzer Prizes, another has been nominated five times. Eastern historian and good friend of the hall, Ed Hands, will be the first speaker who will talk on Oaks' early life in Eastern. Uh, details to follow in the acorn. Oh, I'd also like to acknowledge the presence of the selectman, Mark Lamb, who is, who is uh, representing Easton today. <laughs> now, the question is, I'm not, I'm not about the hall, but a lot of you probably don't know that much about the hall. So I just want to finish with a, a little history, a brief history of the hall. Uh, the hall is a National Historic Landmark building designed in 1881 by H.H. H. Richardson. Now, he's also an architect of Trinity Church in Boston, which probably most of you have seen. Now, this was built to honor the memory of Easton native Oaks Ames, who was born in 1804 and died in 1873 in Easton. He was an important figure in the building of the Transcontinental Railroad. His younger brother, Oliver, who's the library next door, was president of the Union Pacific Railroad. President Abraham Lincoln, an ardent supporter of the road, described his friend Congressman Oaks as the broad-shouldered Ames. The hall was built to be used as it continues to be today, a gathering place for social, business, and cultural events. This room, sorry, it's my, it's my cheeseburger, I think it's, it's a little bit around this This room was rented out over 140 times last year. Uh, so there's a lot of activity that goes on at the hall, and a lot of varied activities, business, arts, social. Um, so we're very, very vital. Uh, the hall is owned and managed by the Board of Trustees as a deed of gift by Oaks' children for the benefit of, quote, good citizens of Easton. Last year, the hall gave $11,000 in rental discounts to Easton nonprofit organizations. All town of Eastern events are at no charge. I'd like to read a, a list of the trustees. There is myself, uh, Paula Peterson as secretary, Oliver Ames, Carolyn Cole, Richard Conley, Gail Devins, Tim Hurley, Dave Jacobson, John Morgan, and Douglas O'Rourke and Jason Sutton. Now, I just want to call out this, this new generation of trustees. I look back to see Paula, and you know, we're, we're, we're still very young and strong, but you know, the, the calendar, another page, keeps coming off. Um, they are Douglas O'Rourke and Jason Sutton. Are they here tonight? There's Douglas, and Jason had to leave, but here we go. Senior new trustee, uh, Ollie Ames, if you could stand up. Now, in case you're wondering, Ollie is a fourth cousin once removed, but uh, more importantly, he, or twice removed, I'm not sure, at least very young. Uh, he just happens to be the great, great, great grandson of Oaks Ames, so we're okay. glad to have you on the show. So, uh, on, on another note, I, I think we should have a moment of silence uh, for two friends who died last year. Elizabeth Ames, a longtime generous benefactor of all, and rental agent Jean Kent, who along with her husband John, served as trustees for over 35 years.
Thank you. Um, there is more food out of the loja, and uh, as John, John told me, he, he will cook to order, and there is plenty of food left if you'd like more burgers or hot dogs. And there is, ice cream is now ready in the next room. This is Hayes ice cream. What is it? Chocolate, vanilla, and strawberry. Banana, turtle ice cream, and French vanilla, and all sorts, of, yes. all sorts of things. And it's so we know it's going to be good. Yes. I just wanted to say that I'm really happy that the Hayes Ice Cream Representative Claire Cronin, who wished she could have been here tonight, she wanted to be. She's at another event that's running really late, and she has to speak there. So she just wants to send her best wishes to everybody into the hall. Yes, Claire's been a, a big supporter of ours. So good, good, for, good for Claire. Um, so anyway, I think that's it. And again, it'd be really nice to see you out. Uh, old, old friends, old faces, uh, new faces. And uh, we hope you have enjoyed this uh, event. And what do you want? Oh. Uh, what? Um, with regards, there's going to be a festival, an art festival coming, which I don't know the details, but I also wanted to make an announcement that not this coming weekend, but the following weekend, the 28th, 29th, and 30th, there'll be um, the Chamber Music Festival here in Houston. And much of it will take part here at the Quest Gardens outside, it was nice. Um, it's free admission and it's uh, a collection of musicians from all over. Um, they're professional and there's going to be several concerts. Um, there will be signs all throughout um, Easton. You'll move miss it. They're pretty big. Um, and I just wanted to announce that because it's going to be here. So. The Carolyn calls designate, right? <laughs> no. Uh, uh, Mr. Corn. Oh, Michael. Yes. I would, you know, I, I've, I, I know Michael pretty well after, you know, uh, uh, talking to him three, this would be his third year doing it. And I, I really personally urge you to go to this concert. It is uh, a bunch of friends who are also music teachers, and it's just, it's very professional. It's like being at Boston Symphony. I mean, I can't tell you how enjoyable it is, so, so please go to that. So, thank you. Uh, one other thing, we got a little bit more wine here and uh, sparkling seltzer if anybody is interested.